What is it? Working capital. Working capital from the accounting perspective. Definition of working capital is current assets minus current liabilities. What do working capital measure? Working capital measure liquidity, operational efficiency, short-term financial health of a business. What are your current assets? Current assets are made of cash at bank, inventories, accounts receivables and other receivables. What are your current liabilities? Current liabilities are made of accounts payables, other payables and short-term debt or borrowings. Short-term debt comprises the overdraft, letter of credit, trust receipts, etc. Why current ratio is an important indicator in working capital management. If you divide the value of our current liabilities into our current assets you will come up with a ratio of current assets to current liabilities which we called the current ratio. The goal should be we should have twice as many assets as liabilities. Eventually, the ratio of 2 to 1 is challenging for many businesses. High the current ratio, the more stable the company is. It gives a better understanding of the working capital requirement of a company. The current ratio will help to gauge the liquidity position of the business. The company ability to convert its current assets into cash to pay off its short-term liabilities. A ratio of one or higher indicates we have sufficient assets to cover liabilities. A ratio of less than 1 indicates we do not have sufficient assets to cover liabilities. The current ratio is calculated by dividing current assets by current liabilities. Let us take two scenarios. As of 30th June 2020, we have US dollar 57,408,417 worth of current assets divided by US dollar 33,796,564 worth of current liabilities. It gives us a current ratio of 1.70 on 30th June 2020. As of 30th June 2021, we have US dollar 59,882,363 worth of current assets divided by US dollar 37,852,247 worth of current liabilities. It gives us a current ratio of 1.58 on 30th June 2021. The current ratio measures the company's short-term liquidity position and also it provides a quantitative relationship between current assets and current liabilities. In this scenario, it means how many dollars in current assets to cover each dollar current liabilities. We have 1.70 current assets to cover current liabilities on 30th June 2020 and we have 1.58 current assets to cover current liabilities on 30th June 2021. The current ratio of two cited is most acceptable, but it varies depending on various industries. Networking capital. It is not a ratio, but measures the overall liquidity position of the company. It is calculated by deducting current liabilities from current assets. In this example, we have US dollar 57,408,417 worth of current assets from that we deducting US dollar 33,796,564 worth of current liabilities. Then we come up with US dollar 23,611,853 worth of net working capital on 30th June 2020. In the second scenario, we have US dollar 59,882,363 worth of current assets from that we deducting US dollar 37,852,247 worth of current liabilities. Then we come up with a networking capital of US dollar 22,030,116 as of 30th June 2021. 
positive working capital indicates business can fund its current operations and invest in future activities and growth of the business. Negative working capital, which meant current assets do not exceeds its current liabilities. Where a firm may have trouble paying back creditors or grow the business. Networking capital is particularly important to understand the minimum level of the networking capital firm should maintain. Why networking capital? The formula of networking capital is often used by investors help to judge companies' financial health and future prospects. Whether the firm is liquid enough to pay off its short-term liabilities. In the first scenario, Company A has US$57,408,417 worth of current assets and US$33,796,517 worth of current liabilities. Meaning Company A has positive net working capital of US$23,611,853 the company can easily pay off its short-term liabilities or debt by using its current assets. It is a sign of a profitable and efficient business. In the second scenario, Company B has US$51,362,391 worth of current liabilities and US$50,222,453 worth of current assets meaning the company has negative net working capital of US$1,139,944. Company B may have trouble and paying its short-term debt liabilities. If the situation was continued the firm may force to sell its long-term assets. Working capital management is concerned with all companies, irrespective of the industries they are in. What is working capital management? Companies buy goods and services from their sellers, store the goods in the warehouse before selling to the customers. The cycle takes a high percentage of available liquidity. The liquidity gets back to the system after the customer being paid for it. By optimizing various processes companies can reduce the amounts of capital tied up in working capital and successfully leverage available liquidity reserve. The efficient management of working capital strengthens its balance sheet. Reduce relying on short-term finance and fuel the growth and enhanced profitability. Working capital management constitutes the host of activities include inventory management, management of accounts receivable, payments to suppliers, and short-term debt management. Accounts receivable management. The following measures will help manage your debtors or accounts receivable. Identify an appropriate credit policy that suits your customer base. Monitor your customer accounts regularly. Do not allow sales representatives to override credit limits. Keep your cost of credit lower. An appropriate credit policy is important. If a company does not have an appropriate credit policy then the company will fall into a situation needs to borrow money to meet its obligations because customers are paying late. It could incur financing charges and carrying overdue accounts still has a cost. Most businesses do not realize how much cash is trapped on their balance sheet. Cash flow can be significantly enhanced if the amounts owing to a business are collected faster. Every business needs to know who owes them money, how much is owed, how long it owes, for what it is owed. If you do not manage your debtors, they will begin to manage your business. Inventory management. Inventory management is a systematic approach to sourcing, storing, using, and selling inventory. In business terms, inventory management means having the right stock at the right time, in the right place, at the right price. 
Inventory is one of the largest components in working capital management. The longer inventory sits on the shelf or in the warehouse, the longer the company's working capital is tied up. Working capital is also greatly affected by the nature of current assets and how quickly can be liquidized or turned into cash. Slow-moving inventory items may require having more liquid working capital. Inventory management. There is no one approaches to inventory management, but best practices are optimize the inventory management process. Best practices include have a centralized inventory management process. Centralized inventory management can provide greater insights into customer purchasing patterns. Strengthen internal control procedures over inventory management. Ensure to equip suitable internal control procedures appropriately safeguard, replenish, and maintain the inventory. Automate the business processes. Automate business processes to improve the accuracy and completeness of inventory tracking and maintain appropriate inventory levels. Set key performance indicators. Set common key performance indicators to critically measure performance and achieve improvement across the organization. Common key performance indicators include inventory turnover, day's inventory outstanding, DO, average inventory levels, and order fill rates. Accounts payable management. Accounts payable management refers to setting the right policies, procedures for managing its trade credit purchases. It consists of seeking suitable credit lines, acquiring favorable terms of purchase, managing the flow of purchase and timing of purchases. Companies that pay on time develop better relationships with the vendors and are in a stronger position to negotiate better deals, payment terms and discounts. In some cases, delaying payment can erode supplier goodwill, resulting in slower delivery, less willingness to fix defects, slower response to queries, and more onerous payment terms. Management of short-term finance. Management of short-term finance focuses on whether the company possesses adequate liquidity to finance short-term operations without taking on excessive risk. With the focus on inventory, payables, receivables, organizations will be better placed to maintain adequate cash flow and maintain short-term commitments in the months ahead. The process of management of short finance involves selecting the suitable financial instruments and the sizing of the funds accessed through each financial instrument. Businesses do not go bankrupt because they are not profitable. But businesses do go bankrupt because they run out of cash and cannot meet payment obligations. Working capital is a daily necessity for all kinds of industries. Efficient working capital management ensures smooth operations, increased profitability, sustainable growth and adequate liquidity. Management of working capital includes inventory management, management of accounts receivable, management of accounts payable, and short-term debt management. A range of factors that affect working capital includes the industry you are in, suppliers' relationships and customer relationships. An efficient working capital management system often uses key performance indicators include current ratio, quick ratio, inventory turnover ratio, accounts receivable turnover ratio, accounts payable turnover ratio, average inventory levels to measure performance, and significantly reduce working capital.